Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. The Indian star tortoise, Geochelone elegans, in the Testidinidae family, belongs to the genus Geochelone, along with the Burmese star tortoise, Geochelone platinota. The Indian star tortoise is distributed throughout India, except for Lower Bengal, extending west to Sindh province, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Its habitat is varied due to its ability to adapt to different environments. Some populations of Indian star tortoises have successfully established themselves in regions with semi-arid climates. However, the most common are grasslands and forests in which periods of drought and torrential rains alternate. The carapace of Indian star tortoises is pronouncedly convex with pyramidal dorsal shields, which often form humps. It is black, with yellow areolas from which yellow stripes radiate. These narrow and very numerous stripes are formed from the highest part of the shields and emit extensions towards the ends, forming the characteristic star-shaped drawings. The plastron or underside is large and also has black and yellow radial stripes. It has no nuchal scut, and the supercaudal is undivided and curved inward in the male. The scuts are strongly striated concentrically. The head is of moderate size, with a convex forehead covered with small and irregular scuts. Their beak is feebly hooked, bi or tricuspid, and the edges of the jaws are denticulate. The outer interior face of the forelimbs has numerous unequal-sized, large, imbricate, bony, pointed tubercles. The heel has large, more or less spur-like tubercles. These tortoises have five nails on each limb. The sexual dimorphism of adult Indian star tortoises is quite apparent. Females are considerably larger than their male counterparts. These can reach up to 35 centimeters, 13.8 inches, although the most common is that they do not exceed 25 to 28 centimeters, 9.85 to 11 inches. In contrast, males usually do not exceed 22 centimeters, 8.66 inches. The weight of these turtles usually ranges between 5 and 7 kilograms, between 11 and 15.4 pounds. To which is added, that females' plastrons are much flatter than those of males, which have a concave shape. Finally, it should be noted that the size will depend on its genetic line, as there are three varieties, the star tortoise from North India, which is the largest, those from Sri Lanka, medium-sized, and those from South India, these being the smallest. Indian star tortoises are mostly herbivorous and feed on grasses, fallen fruit, flowers, leaves of succulent plants, and will occasionally eat carrion. When keeping one of these tortoises as a pet, feeding them becomes very complicated. They are animals that tend to suffer diseases frequently, and at the least stress, they stop eating. If you want to keep an Indian star tortoise in captivity, you will have to feed it with wild plants and vegetables. The most recommended are grass, dandelion, chicory, alfalfa, clover, lettuce, endive, Chinese cabbage, and carrot. Avoid giving cabbage and spinach in excess, due to their high content of oxalic acid, and the juiciest vegetables such as cucumber or tomato. They should never be fed meat, fish, and cat or turtle feed since tortoise's stomach is usually not designed to tolerate large amounts of protein. Turtles are oviparous animals, that is to say, they reproduce by laying eggs. Indian star tortoises reach sexual maturity between 7 and 13 years of age. Unlike other tortoises, Indian star tortoises do not usually show aggressive behavior during mating season. However, when egg-laying, the female can show very aggressive behavior. The female digs a hole in the ground, using the nails of her hind legs, and proceeds to lay between two and eight eggs. Later, she covers it and flattens the hole with her plastron, so that the nest cannot be found by predators.
The incubation period lasts between 110 and 180 days until the eggs hatch. Indian star tortoises' surprising and exotic appearance makes many yearn to have one of them in their home. However, keep in mind that they are quite difficult to keep in captivity. To begin with, they do not adapt well to terrariums. Something that must be taken into account, as we may not have enough space to offer them the large enclosure required. The humidity of the enclosure must be controlled, and since they do not tolerate it well, it must be kept low. Regarding the temperature, the minimum temperature of its enclosure must be at least 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, the cold makes them get sick. It will also be necessary to have UVB and UVA lamps to ensure that they receive enough light. Finally, they should be provided with shade and shelter areas, as well as a large drinker with a depth of no more than 3 or 4 centimeters, 1 or 1.5 inches, with easy access and exit, since they like to take immersion baths. Since the star tortoise is an animal in a vulnerable state according to the IUCN, we must be very careful not to encourage illegal trafficking of species or irresponsible ownership. It is essential to check if it is legal to introduce this specimen in our country, and detail with the veterinarian and advance the steps to follow for proper adoption, maintenance, and other necessary care. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.